Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back on the Exiled Lands, just southeast of Sepameru, building a Stygian home. All of the mods used are in the pinned comment below, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. Stygian culture is based very heavily on ancient Egypt, a civilization I've always actually really enjoyed learning about, so I wanted to try to make this build as historically accurate as possible. I'll talk a bit more about that historical accuracy in the furnishing phase. I created a really simple base plate of a 3x4 front yard with a 5x3 central rectangle and two 2x3 two rooms on either side. Next for the walls. I'm using the Muran set from the sand and stone mod for this build, though you could of course replicate this quite well with stone brick, sandstone or maybe even arena, though Muran is specifically designed for the Stygian style. I placed door frames to access the build and then built the walls of this floor two tiles high, following the floor plan I laid out earlier. Marun is a very interesting set that offers exterior and interior walls of slightly different heights, as the exterior walls are designed to stand a little higher than the floor that would usually be either in line with or above them. Therefore, you should use exterior walls on most places apart from staircases and doorways, where you'll want to use the interior walls. Next for the first floor. Ancient Egyptian homes had flat roofs for a very important reason that I'll be replicating here. I used walls to build two 3x3s over the left and back centre sides of the build, covering the open air section with stone ceilings, and the room interiors with tile ceilings. Initially, I planned to build the left side one tile high, and the central room two tiles high, but I decided to increase the height of each room by one tile to make things flow a bit better. I also raised the section above the right side room on the ground floor by one tile, to allow for a staircase that I'll place later on. I then covered the roofs of each room with stone ceilings. At this point I wanted to place the stairs. I struggled a bit with ideas on how to build this staircase, and I eventually settled on a corner stair design from the back left corner of the yard, which isn't exactly historically accurate, but there is a little bit of wiggle room here due to the partially fictional nature of the Stygians. I then built up a staircase up to the raised section on the right, and from that section to the roof on the left side, and then from the left side to the central roof, so every roof is accessible. I then used half walls to fence off the edges safely, including the wall of the yard. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the home with hanging braziers. Life in ancient Egypt was difficult, and technology was still very primitive, especially compared to nowadays, making simple things like baking bread an arduous and oftentimes dangerous task. Therefore, whilst I have aimed for historical accuracy with this build, I have allowed myself a little leeway to make things a bit more interesting. Ancient Egyptian homes varied between classes, and peasants often had little to no furniture, however that doesn't translate well to an interesting build, so therefore I chose to include rustic, time appropriate decorations. The main room includes a small social space with some storage, with no heat source like an oven or a fireplace, as the desert is more than hot enough during the daytime. In the kitchen, I've included food and cooking methods that ancient Egyptians would have used. Grains, cucumbers, salt, pepper, honey, onions, bread, these are all foods authentic to the way of life in ancient Egypt, and they're very much staples of the diet, with most food being cooked in clay pots held over a fire, either chained above the brazier in this room or cooked on the rack in the yard.
On the opposite side of this floor is a tannery. Egyptian workers would often have somewhere to undertake their trade within their own homes, so I chose tanning as I felt that would be the most thematically appropriate, given the large amount of wildlife in the desert. You'll notice that the roof is held up with bricks at regular intervals. These are called corbels, they support superincumbent weight above them, allowing the ceiling to sit comfortably and safely above the build. It's not clear if these would have existed in ancient Egypt, seeing as the actual homes were mostly made out of mud bricks, however corbels are often seen in stone structures to support the weight of the ceilings above it. Heading upstairs, this storeroom is where sealed foods, hides, animal products, kitchen implements and other things are all kept that aren't currently in use. Egyptian peasants often had a room in their home dedicated just to storage, especially for sealed food. Obviously, there were no refrigerators back then, and using the preservation boxes would kind of break the immersion of this build a bit, so having this storeroom here works really well and it keeps it in line with the historically accurate theme. The central room is a small makeshift shrine to Set, the traditional god of the Stygians. Houses in ancient Egypt would usually have a small shrine or something similar to their respective god, so having this small shrine makes a lot of sense. Finally, the roofs. Ancient Egypt was incredibly hot, so the homes would have also got incredibly hot, even though the Egyptians did try to take measures to stop that. Therefore, the roofs of their homes would often be flat, and it would be used as a social space or even a sleeping space. Residents would put makeshift awnings or sun covers up here, they'd use it to eat, to socialise, or to sleep at the night. Obviously, ancient Egypt was very, very hot, and is still, modern day, a very hot country. So having the beds on the roof helped to keep the residents cool, especially at night. And there we have it, a Stygian home in the western desert, southeast of Sepameru. Thanks for watching, I did a lot of research on ancient Egyptian housing, food and lifestyle for this build, and I quite enjoyed it. I haven't really dabbled with the Stygian style before, it never really appealed to me. But this build actually came out really well, and I think it is something I'm going to do again, maybe on a bit of a bigger scale. As always, you'll find all the links to my Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Patreon and NordVPN discounts in the description below along with credit for the music used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I put out at least two videos a week, so there's always plenty of content to come. If you have any suggestions for future builds, I would love to hear them in the comments below. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn, and Eagle Rose. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.